It's very common to want to start exercising, but it's very easy to get overwhelmed with all the information that you receive online. So in this video, I want to give you guys a very simple, kind of unconventional way to get started in your journey. So the first thing I need you to do is to slowly back away from all the online content that you're consuming every single day because you want to start exercising. So that means TikToks, YouTubes, Instagrams, I need you to cut that out. The reason being is because you're seeing so many different perspectives in the fitness space. There are so many different ways to do everything. So as a new person, you don't really have the filter to see what is good and what isn't, and you just wanna try everything. You wanna try the most optimal way, and you'll get overwhelmed, and this will push you to quit. But the truth of the matter is, it's not going to be optimal in the beginning, but that's not the point here. I've had personal training clients, for those of you who don't know, I am a personal trainer. I've had personal training clients who would ask me about like, hey, I saw this video on Instagram, or I saw this video on TikTok, like right when I first started training all the way till now. I'm, I'm trying to get them to understand that, yes, these videos are nice to watch because these people are doing these acrobatics in the gym, but if you don't know what is good and what isn't, You'll get overwhelmed and then you'll compare yourself to other people and this is going to push you to quit because you're not making the same progress that they've made. This is taking you back a few notches and you have no idea. All you need to worry about is building consistency, a habit of consistency. This is going to be the only thing that takes you from the beginning to the end. Now how are we going to do that? First things first, there is no way other than to just start. You know people say all these videos of how do I start exercising, how to do this, how to do that. You have to just start something but again it's gonna be so ridiculously easy that anyone can get started here there's not gonna be any push pull legs there'll be no upper lower split there'll be no five by five squats five by five deadlifts all that stuff does not exist to you you're gonna lower the bar abysmally low so you can keep coming and showing up every single day and keep at it and yes i said every single day you don't have rest days that doesn't exist to you you're gonna do this every single day just a tad so you can build that habit because if you're in the beginning, you're too used to not exercising. So the second that you give your body the opportunity to rest again and do nothing all day, you're gonna be in bliss and heaven and then you're gonna fall off the wagon. It's easy to stop going to work or stop working out one day a week and then all of a sudden it turned into two weeks. Now like I said, we're gonna make it very easy. So in the very beginning, we can do something like simple. So when you wake up in the morning, it's best to do this in the morning because you don't have anything else stopping you, any any other like daily baggage or anything like that. You wake up in the morning and you do 10 push-ups. Congratulations, you won the day. It could be as simple as that. And you're probably thinking that 10 push-ups aren't really doing anything because in reality, those 10 push-ups by themselves don't really do anything. But if you look at the bigger picture, they mean everything. They're the first building block to cementing this new habit in your daily life. Now that we're getting used to this habit, let's do something different the next day. Again, it's going to be pretty simple. Let's go ahead and go to our nearby park or maybe uh, invest in a pull-up bar and do some pull-ups. Right? I know pull-ups are hard and don't get discouraged, but just do what you can. Jump up to start if you need to, but that one pull-up is better than doing nothing at all. Now let's try something a little bit different. Let's go for a run. And now I'm going to make it stupid, simple, easy. That's the point of this, is to make it easy. I want you to start, look at a light pole, and then say, I'm gonna start at this light pole, and then run to that light pole. That's good, that's better than you think it is. Now we haven't hit our legs yet, so we can do some body squats the next day. I know like this doesn't sound like a whole lot to do, and I know you're probably thinking like, that's nothing, I'm not gonna get anything out of this, but you need to understand that you need to build up your momentum first. Now these first few days are not that intense, but they're building up your habit. So we're doing body, body weight squats, 20 bodyweight squats, easy stuff. And then after that, we can hit some sit-ups. You know, like you get on, the, get on the floor and do some crunches. Now, if you haven't noticed already, during this week, we have hit most sections of our body. So with push-ups, we did our chest, shoulders, and triceps. With our pull-ups, we did most of our back. With the squats, we did our legs and glutes, obviously. And then with the cardio, we were working our cardiovascular system and we hit some abs. This is very simple stuff. You don't need to just get overwhelmed with all of the, the different splits you find on red and stuff like that. Now that we're getting used to exercising by itself, we can build up our difficulty tolerance. So 
in the beginning we did 10 push-ups on let's say like Monday right so we did 10 push-ups on Monday how about the next week on Monday we do 15 push-ups in the morning right this is called progressive overload so you're putting more pressure on you to work even harder you're not lifting any crazy weights or anything like that but this is still progressing your body and getting you stronger you're not gonna be going so hard that you quit but you're not gonna be going so easy that you don't make progress and you get bored. Now, I know that you probably want like this brand spanking new, amazing looking body, right? But I want you to take that thought out of your head and then put it away somewhere, okay? I want you to put your expectations very, very low because that body isn't gonna come for a while. It's only gonna come after you've unlocked this habit of consistency. And I'm saying this because what people do is that they see this body online, right? They see it on Reddit, they see it on YouTube, but especially Instagram. And they think, okay, I want it, I want it, I want it bad. So they overwork. They work even, even harder, harder. And that's not a good thing because if you're not used to working out really hard every single day, you will get discouraged and you will quit. And that's the last thing we need you to do. The most important thing that you need to focus on is not the abs, not the arms, and not the chest. You need to focus on consistency. That's it. That's all you need to build up. Every single day, show up, do a little bit, and do a little bit more the next week than you did last week. 25 body squats. Run for a tad bit longer. Do 15 sit-ups. Whatever. Like, just little progressive overloads. We're trying to get you used to the habit. And then eventually, when you get over this, like when you're doing maybe like 100 pushes a day, like one punch, man, then you can get in the gym. And oh boy, that's when the fun starts. If you haven't seen them already, I have a series called like anime in real life. I had them the videos unlisted for a while, but I just thought that they actually provide some kind of value, so I decided to make them public again. You can find the playlist here on the screen and go in there and find some more exercises do to do if you'd like. Okay? I think they actually provide some kind of value, so go check it out. This is your sensei King Kai. I'm very proud that you decided to start exercise, okay? If you need any help, please let me know and join my Discord server in the description and you can ask me directly, alright? Deuces. See you.